the fastest way that I found to schedule project in MS Project is by using Chat GPT. What I'm going to show you might change the way you schedule projects. It's Christian from Vision 6D. For me, it's always a pleasure to share some of my knowledge in project management to level up your skills. I train and I consult for companies. The project that is behind me, I didn't create any task, didn't evaluate any duration, didn't define any start date, and I didn't define any resource. Everything is done with the help of Chat GPT. My first step was to create a project description. For that, I used MS Word and its capacity to go from voice to text. Our project is the implementation of a CRM system. It's a customer relation management system. In our company, we are producing services and goods and we are following our customers through marketing that is to say that we have a first contact with them, then we have the sales department that is in contact with the customer, <laughs> to check the performances of the different teams involved once the CRM system is in place. Now, we can start the work with chat GPT. I prepared the project description and I'm creating the first prompt. In that first prompt, I'm asking chat GPT to read my project description and to tell me if it understood. In the next prompt, I'm telling to chat GPT that it is my mentor in project management and that I asked my mentor how shall I proceed with my project. The way to proceed with the project that is proposed by ChatGPT is fine for me. So now what I'm going to ask it in the next prompt it's to schedule the project in a tabular format with some constraints that I have with MS projects concerning the duration formats and we'll see what it is going to generate. The table generated is really key here. So I'm really happy with the results. And now I copy the table. I opened Excel and pasted that table in there. I'm saving that file and we are going to proceed now with MS Project. I have opened MS Project and what I want to do is to import the Excel file. For this, I'm going into open, I browse. It found already one version of the file that I had created previously, but what I'm interested in are Excel files. So I open the Excel file that we created previously, and now I'm going here into open. I have the wizard that opens, I'm going to say I create a new map, I create a new project with this, and for this simple example, I'm interested by the tasks. So I'm selecting here next. Within the, the source worksheet, I have to define the sheet on which I'm going to work. It's in my case, for you one. And you see here some of the elements we are in red. 
It means that we have here the columns from the Excel field and here we have to map them to MS project fields. So in Excel it was named task and here it is entitled name. So I'm going to look for name which is here up to do the mapping. For resources I have also something similar. I'm looking for resource names here. So now I have the mapping which is defined and you see I have here some examples with how the name were in Excel, task, duration, start, finish and resources. If I go a bit further here and below I have two lines that show me how they are going to be converted into MS project. So with that I'm done. I can now click on finish here and we are going to look what happens. Hey, aren't you surprised like me how fast this is going, especially now that I show you the Gantt chart? Yes, I am fascinated how fast it goes. Yes, you are right. This project is a simple one, but it's an example to show you the process. How to go from a project description that you dictate to your word processor up to having task and a schedule into MS Project. We are now evolving. We are now at the beginning of something that is different and we'll see and I'm eager to discover what you will do as project in this way. It's Christian and for me it's always a pleasure to meet you again in the next module. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.